Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rutech, and today we're talking about the best $400 gaming PC for November of 2019. Now this one, it's a screamer and you're really gonna wanna see this. For $400, you're getting super good performance. Also, before we get straight into it, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and possibly liked. Seriously, it helps out the channel. On YouTube nowadays, it's actually really difficult to build up a base of subscribers. Anyways, I don't wanna waste any more time. Let's get straight into the video and talk about this budget $400 gaming PC for November of 2019 by starting out with the CPU. So for the CPU, we have AMD's Ryzen 3 2200G 3.5 gigahertz quad core processor for 78 bucks. Now, the 2200G is very good. And I mean, it's actually very good for its price. For $78, you're getting something that just about barely bottlenecks the graphics card and also delivers a very great performance for this entire PC. Enough said about that, let's talk about the motherboard. Now for the motherboard, we're using ASRock's B450M Pro 4 Micro ATX AM4 motherboard for 70 bucks. Uh, it's 70 bucks. I couldn't really find anything cheaper than that without you needing to get some BIOS upgrade. And I know you guys don't want to deal with that. And most of you don't have access to another Risen chip to upgrade your BIOS. But if you do, there are other options for you possibly make this build cheaper. But I'm assuming majority of my viewers don't have an additional chip. But anyway, the ASRock B450M will be able to hold our graphics card, our CPU, our RAM. It basically holds everything together and there's not much else to say about it than it's just the heart of this build in the sense that it holds everything together. Next up, we have the memory, the RAM. We have Patriot's signature premium 2x4 gigabyte DDR4 2666 megahertz memory for $31 from Amazon. Now, like I said in my last video, a lot of people are questioning if eight gigabytes is enough anymore in 2019 and yes yes it is there's nothing wrong with eight gigabytes for playing pc games in 2019 now you might want to upgrade in the coming year or two but for now eight gigabytes will do perfect i'm running eight gigabytes in my build and anyway let's move on to the next thing in the build which is our storage now i know this is a budget pc but honestly, you can't have a build without having Windows running on an SSD anymore. I mean, it's it's terrible. If you try running Windows on a hard drive on any gaming PC, it's gonna piss you off, plain and simple. I mean, Windows is just gonna be really slow and crappy. So let's start with the hard drive. We have Western Digital's Caviar Blue, 500 gigabytes of 7200 RPM internal hard drive storage. 7200 RPM is the max amount of RPM for a hard drive. So we're getting a super fast hard drive here. And we have Caviar Blue, which is, I'd say, the most trusted type of hard drive storage for gamers, because pretty much on every PC build you see that has a hard drive in it, it's using Western Digital's Caviar Blue. Now this one is 500 gigabytes, so it'll be able to hold a lot of games. I have this drive in my PC and I'm able to hold a couple of games. Uh, unless you're planning on downloading a crap ton of games, this will be perfect for you. But otherwise, I'd recommend going for the one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue 7200 RPM internal hard drive instead. The other piece of storage we have in this build is Inland Professionals 120 gigabyte solid state drive for only $18. Windows is only around 20 to 30 gigabytes, so it'll leave you an extra 90 to 100 gigabytes to put programs you want fast access to. So for example, on my SSD, I put videos and pictures because I want really fast access to those things. I want them to load pretty quickly. And videos and pictures only take up, what, 10 gigabytes if you don't have a lot of them. So you can also put a lot of programs here that you want fast access to. But anyway, I also have this storage in my PC, so it runs perfectly fine. If you're worried about buying Inland Professional, you never heard of them. Trust me, Inland Professional, they make good SSDs. I have one in my build. I just realized this is the same storage setup as my build. So uh, trust me, these two parts, they run perfectly. Your PC will be pretty damn good. Okay, next up, the video card. We're using ASRock's Radon RX 570 4GB Phantom Gaming video card for 130 bucks. When I was putting together this build and figuring out how I should do it, at first I had a RX 560, but then I started reading about how bad the 560 is. I mean, it can't even run Battlefield 5 with 60 frames per second at low graphic settings. And that's a very clear signal that the 560, you can't use it in 2019. Sorry, no matter what variant of the 560 you have, it, it ain't gonna work. But the 570 can easily get over 60 frames per second in games like Battlefield, Call of Duty, all that good stuff. So trust me, the 570 will be the perfect deliverer for your gaming performance. Is deliverer a word? I don't know, but trust me, it's good. 
Next up, the case. We have DIY PC's JAX11 WATX mid tower case for $36. Now it does have $8 shipping, not a big deal. I mean, it's a big case, what do you expect? And it's from Newegg. Newegg sometimes has shipping costs, but whatever. But anyway, this is a nice white case. It's pretty nice. I like white cases. I think they look pretty snazzy for PC builds, but there are a lot of other options. You don't have to use this case in particular. All you need is a case that is labeled ATX, okay? Any case labeled ATX will work with this build. If you don't like this case, you can choose any one you want, all right? Last but not least, we have the power supply. Now, power supplies are kind of expensive nowadays. I mean, I remember looking at power supply prices a couple months ago. They were around 20 to 30 bucks. This one's 40 bucks. Not a big deal. Just an additional 10 bucks. But anyway, we're using EVGA's BR 450 watt 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Now, again, 40 bucks. Not a big deal. But if you want to wait until the holiday season rolls around, you might find a good sale. Just make sure it's in the 450, 500 watt range or above, and it's labeled 80 plus certified. It'll be perfect for this build. Now that's gonna wrap it up for this build. Let me tell you, for $427, this is actually really, really good. The 570 packs a punch paired with 2200G. You have eight gigabytes of dual channel RAM, which by the way, is at 2,666 megahertz. You got a lot of storage, you even have some additional SSD storage to put some, some other things on other than Windows. And that's going to do it for this video. Once again, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and like the video. Seriously, helps out the channel a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.